This is Kaisa, daughter of the Void. To survive among predators, Kaisa became one. The daughter of the Void hunts with a symbiotic second skin adapted from a living Void creature. Are you the hunter or the prey? Welcome to the Kaisa Champion Spotlight. Look closely and your prey will show you how to kill it. Kaisa has two passives. The first is Caustic Wounds. Kaisa's basic attacks mark enemies with plasma, dealing increasing bonus damage per stack. After enough stacks, the plasma ruptures for a burst of damage based on the target's missing health. Nearby allies can donate plasma by immobilizing enemies with crowd control, but cannot rupture the plasma. Kaisa's second passive is Living Weapon. Her symbiotic skin evolves her abilities based on permanent stats gained from items and champion levels. We'll come back to these evolutions with each ability. Kaisa's Q is a Kathian Rain, which releases a swarm of missiles evenly distributed among nearby enemies. Additional hits on the same champion or monster deal reduced damage. Low health minions take extra damage. If you catch an enemy up close and alone, they'll be pummeled with every shot for some unavoidable damage. Minions and other enemies will split the salvo, so remember to isolate your prey before making it a Kathian Rain. With enough bonus attack damage, a Kathian Rain evolves to fire significantly more missiles, dealing more damage. Kaisa's W, Void Seeker, fires off a beam of void energy that damages, reveals, and applies plasma to the first enemy hit. With enough ability power, Void Seeker evolves to deal more damage, apply additional plasma, and partially refund the cooldown on champion hit. Put enemies on blast with a nasty poke, or play hide and seeker with a fleeing enemy. Kaisa's E is Supercharger. First, Kaisa charges up, briefly increasing her movement speed, but losing the ability to attack. After charging up, Kaisa whips out the big guns to increase her attack speed for a few seconds. Every basic attack reduces Supercharger's cooldown. Additionally, bonus attack speed will reduce the charge up time and increase the movement speed gain. With enough bonus attack speed, Supercharger evolves to grant invisibility during the charge up. Your enemies hunting you will be in vain. The first half of Supercharger can be used to create distance from a threat, and you can use the second half to turn and burn. Kaisa's ultimate is Killer Instinct. Too late to run. Kaisa dashes at extremely high speed to a location near an enemy champion marked with plasma, then briefly gains a shield. While Kaisa moves insanely fast during her ultimate, it is technically a dash. Eagle-eyed opponents can interrupt you. Unlike other champions from the Void with high mobility ultimates. Huh. Kaisa can use her ult to pick off a wandering enemy. Combo with a teammate to dive a carry hiding in the backline. Or reposition in the blink of an eye. Killer Instinct is exceptionally versatile and has a long range, but it is a huge commitment. Don't be rash with it. Once you're in deep, you better be able to fight your way out. Kaisa's abilities and evolutions give her multiple ways to approach a team fight. My skin is cooling. Time to hunt. One method is to rely on Supercharger, pinging their front line for constant cooldown refreshment and using Killer Instinct to dodge crowd control or kite divers. Just make sure you don't abandon your team to 1v5. That's 10 points in Void Spotting. Alternatively, you can lurk on the outskirts, waiting for a well-aimed Void Seeker or some friendly crowd control to dive in and pop a squishy. Stay alert for opportunities to follow up on an ally's engage and land that final stack of plasma for the kill. After all, KS stands for Kaisa. You talk too much. Thanks for watching the Kaisa Champion Spotlight. Follow your killer instinct to dive deep and learn more about the Daughter of the Void.